What will happen when the animals living on Earth suddenly grow many times more than their size, after which the world changed completely, but how did this happen? Let's know from the beginning. The story begins with a monologue where it was being told that how an asteroid, which was heading straight towards the Earth, so to save the Earth from this destruction, all the countries together fired many rockets on that asteroid, which destroyed it before coming into the Earth's orbit and initially people also thought that they were finally saved but they did not know that the broken pieces of that asteroid were falling on the Earth, and since that asteroid came from an alien planet, the chemical compounds of that planet reached the Earth and those pieces and started mutating life according to their own. Except for humans, all the other living beings became many times bigger than their size and they started killing humans, due to which 95% of the population was destroyed within this time, and the 5% people who survived started hiding in underground bunkers and different caves. Now in one such group lives Joel who has been hiding here with everyone else for the last seven years. Actually Joel cannot fight those huge animals like everyone else, that is why whenever the rest of the people go to the surface to get food supplies, Joel always stays in the bunker and does small tasks for everyone else. Here he also made a diary in which he draws every big animal that he has seen till date and writes down their strength and weakness along with them, so that if he ever gets stuck in trouble he knows how to escape from them. While fighting for so many years, by now their bullets had also finished, so now everyone uses sword, axe and bow and arrow for their safety and now Joel also starts learning to use cross boss so that he can also go up and help his group in getting supplies, but one day he sees that the light in their bunker is becoming unstable and on checking, he finds some animals which were tampering with their generator on the surface, so now something the fighters go outside to chase them away so that their light remains safe and the rest of them start watching on the monitor inside that outside they were being killed one by one, so Joel also goes to help them with his bow and arrow and comes to the generator room and sees that in front of him a monster was eating his companions, while Joel gets scared like always and is not able to shoot his arrows, and now when that creature was about to eat Joel too, Joel's friend comes and saves him from where he remembers that seven years ago when the world was completely normal. He used to date a girl named Amy and when they were spending time alone one evening, the pieces of the alien meteoroid started falling on the whole city in front of them, and from here both of them ran back to their respective homes where all the families were running away from their homes and that's why, Joey and Amy also left the city with their families after saying their last goodbyes. Now in the present Joel uses the radio to find out about the people around him. He also stays in contact with other human bunkers so that they can get information about the outside world and during this time one day he also finds out about Amy's bunker. When he asks his friends about Amy's bunker he finds out that it is 150 kilometer away from here and if Joel wants to go there, it will take him at least more than a week and that too if he can reach there alive, because there are many dangerous creatures living on the surface outside. But by now Joel had decided that he will definitely go to meet Amy because he is tired of living alone here for so many years. Now he goes out to the surface with food supplies and a map. He had to travel a long distance to reach Amy's bunker. He also sees on the way that everything outside has changed. There are no big buildings here and everything is covered by trees and plants. Joel continues his journey through them and after walking for many hours, when he was near a house he hears the sound of an animal coming near him. Where he tries to run away in fear but to his bad luck that giant frog came in front of him and now he starts attacking Joel with his big tongue. While escaping from there Joel also meets a dog who was trying to save Joel's life by barking at that frog, but while running away that frog catches Joel's leg and starts pulling him towards himself to eat him. But that dog bites the frog and frees Joel and from here both of them run away and reach a bus. Now Joel also understood that this is not a normal thing but it has been trained for these dangers for many years. While hiding from the frog, Joel also notices that there is also a person's belongings here. Which means that someone else must have lived here with this dog who trained this dog and now he is not alive. So Joel himself thinks of keeping that dog with him and names him, Bay, from his own side while that dog still carries a cloth of his old owner with him as a last sign. Now after spending the night in the bus, Joel continues his journey with Bay and both of them were crossing the ruined cities together. While resting after walking for a few hours, Joel takes his old owner's clothes from Bay and keeps them in his bag so that they do not get lost anywhere and they also play together. Bay was very smart because he stops Joy from eating a poisonous fruit. So both of them were moving forward again, 
Now Joel accidentally falls into a cave while walking where bones of many people were lying. That as many people have died here and Joel had also understood that now a worm comes from behind and attacks him. Where Joel was saved this time, but the worms can attack from any hole and Joel also starts feeling that now he will not be able to survive. Then a man named Clyde throws a rope for Joel from above and takes him out. While the worms who were chasing him he also bites them and throws a bomb in their cave and blows them up. Actually here Clyde was traveling with his daughter Mino, and now they start moving forward together where knowing from Joel that he does not know how to use weapons yet, Mino starts teaching him how to use his crossbow. While walking they also tell him that they are actually going to the snowy mountains where most of the animals do not go due to extreme cold and they will settle there. However, Joel refuses to go with them because he had left his bunker for Amy. Now while walking they also find a big snail on the way, seeing which Joel got scared. But since Clyde already knew about animals, he takes off Joel's shirt and puts it in the shell of the snail so that it does not follow them. His trick also works. He also explains to Joel that it is not necessary that every animal attacks them and they can stay safe by knowing more and more about them, for which they will have to look into the eyes of the animals. Now while walking when they were resting in the evening, Glide tells Joel about more animals which Joel can note in his diary about how to avoid them. And from here, the journey became like a four-way journey for the next few days. So far, due to Mano's teaching, Joel had also learned how to use a crossbow and he had also learned other survival tricks from him and finally, after so many days of journey the time finally comes when both of them had to separate. So Mano bids a final goodbye to Bay and Clyde gives Joel a grenade as a gift so that if he gets stuck in trouble, he can use it. From here, Joel was now moving ahead. Alone with Bay when they find a swampy area, where Bay refuses to go for unknown reasons, a big cockroach comes from the front. Bay was scared of it and now before Joel could hit it with the crossbow, it attacks him and goes to eat the bay under which it was hiding, which Joel was also watching with fear standing at a distance and he remembers the day when he was leaving the city with his family but their car got stuck at a place. And Joel started to run away from there alone so that at least he could be saved, but then they got killed in the creature's attack from above, and Joel could do nothing except watching, and was taken to the same bunker in a truck with the rest of the people. In the beginning when Joel was always scared and stayed in the bunker, the reason for that was the death of his parents in front of him and in the present also the same thing was happening in front of him where that animal is about to eat the bay. But this time Joel could not see anyone else dying in front of him and leaving his fear behind. Now the arrow hits that creature and kills it and he finally saved the bay. While walking, it started raining at night, so both of them enter an old house for shelter and here they find a robot named Mavis who tells Joel that she is alone inside here for the last seven years until date she has not been able to come out of here because before she could make legs, that asteroid fell on the earth and the one who made it died. But now her battery is left for only 51 minutes, after which she will get discharged forever because there was no one left to generate power for her to get charged and here she shows the map to Joel with her remaining battery in which Amy's colony was only 10 miles away from here where Joel talks to Amy on the radio with the help of Mavis, who tells that she is absolutely fine, while some survivors have also come to their colony who will take all their group members to a safe place, so Joel has to reach them quickly, now here in the last minutes of Mavis, Joel makes her sit outside and shows her the outside world for the first time where Mavis also shows Joel the old photos of her parents from the data of social media and after seeing the outside world for the last time, Mavis' battery got drained and before leaving, Joel and Bay also give her the last barrier just like a living person and from here both of them move forward on their journey, but now after going some distance, a big sand worm is seen which attacks them as soon as it sees them. Joel gets distracted and starts running away from there with the buoy. The sand worm was following them. Meanwhile, Joel's foot hits a tree and he falls down. The clothes that he had taken from the buoy's owner fall into the water. Joel himself runs away and hides with the buoy where the sandworm was searching for Muni. After they remain silent for some time, he starts leaving from there. But the buoy had jumped into the river to stop the clothes of its old owner from flowing into the water. Now, due to its sound, the sand that was going from there comes back. To save himself, Joel blasts the grenade given by Clyde into the creature's mouth and saves himself by jumping into the water. When they come out, Joel sees that a lot of leeches were stuck to his body. 
Joel quickly removes all of them and gets very angry with the buoy because it was him who had jumped into the water. By jumping into the room, the creature came after them and seeing Joel in such anger, Bay runs away from there, while Joel, who is now intoxicated by the bites of leeches and their venom, starts going towards Amy's colony despite being unconscious because he had come very close to them, so he quickly searches for the potion about which Clyde had told him that it is anti-venom and after eating it, he comes to know that people from Amy's group had come looking for him. Now after some time, when Joel opens his eyes, he sees that Amy has brought him to her bunker and she has also treated him, which means that now he is completely safe. Here Amy further tells that they started this colony seven years ago which is on the seashore and just now three survivors have come to them who are going to take all of them to a safe place, so Joel also goes with them and from here she starts showing him her colony which is situated on the seashore and they never had any shortage of food here. Here were the three survivors Dana Rako and her Captain Brooke who were taking everyone from here in their ship. Now after some time when Joel was with Amy. He comes to know that Amy had actually forgotten him and she was also in a relationship with someone else who was killed last year because Amy thought that she would never see Joel again. Here she also tells Joel that nothing can happen between them now. So Joel gets disappointed and starts looking at the maps of his bunker mates on which they had written good luck messages for Joel and here he realizes that his real family were his bunker mates with whom he had lived for the last seven years. So he contacts his bunker through radio. Joel was very happy to see Joel reaching here safely. However, he also tells them that the power of their bunker has started failing. So they will have to find another place as soon as possible. Now after hearing this, Joel decides that he will go back to his family's bunker so that they can be there. But he could not help but now he notices that the fruits which were given to him to eat were the same poisonous fruits which Bay had stopped them from eating on the way meaning that something is definitely wrong here and he quickly runs outside to Amy so that he can stop everyone from eating these fruits, but outside everyone was already intoxicated after eating those fruits and now before he could explain anything to anyone, Dana comes from behind and beats him and makes him unconscious. Now when Joel opens his eyes in the morning, he sees that he was tied up with Amy and everyone else when they were drunk at night and now Dana destroys the radio tower in front of them and their captain Brooks reveals to everyone that they are not really survivors. Actually, they enter different communities pretending to be survivors and then show them false dreams that they have a boat and they will take them to a safe place. They kill everyone and steal their supplies. Where they have tied their boat to a big crab, which can be controlled by giving electric shock to the crab from the remote that he has. So. He gives electric shock to the same crab and calls everyone to the shore to kill them. Where everyone was running to save their lives despite being tied up, but Amy first frees her hands and attacks Raka and also pushes him down. On the other hand, Joel alone saves himself from the crab to save everyone. Brooke tries to kill him and even makes him fall down the stairs but he was still alive and after making Joel unconscious, he starts attacking the rest of the colony. Despite Amy's fight, Dana was overpowering him. Then Bay comes chasing Joel and as soon as Dana was firing at him, Amy shakes his hand and the fire went straight to the crab. So now seeing the situation getting worse, Brooke starts leaving from there with his companions in a boat because they had already loaded all the stuff. While leaving, he makes Brooke more angry so that he can kill Amy and Joel. But Joel had seen that Brooke is controlling the crab with some device and he shoots at the same chain and breaks it. That means that now the crab was not in Brooks. Control. So he goes straight to Brooks boat and kills him and also eats his other two companions because they had tortured him a lot. However, in the meantime, he also destroys the boat on which Brooke was fighting. Now before going to his bunker, Johel bids Amy a final goodbye and gifts her his diary so that she can use it to escape from the animals. He was also happy that even though he did not find Amy, he learned a lot from this adventure. He found a bay, learned to fight and finally overcame his fear. So before leaving, he kisses Amy one last time and happily returns to his bunker with the bay. This time he was ready for this new adventure. And after a journey of a few weeks, they reach there where everyone is very happy to see Joel safe again. From here, Joel starts telling everyone on the radio that if they want to stay safe, they should also go to the snowy mountains like Clyde where they can all make a new beginning together because the power of the bunkers is now starting to end, 
so they cannot stay here for long and will be able to make a new beginning on the same snowy mountains because most of the animals are not able to go there due to the cold there. So now Johal and all the other groups together go to the same mountains where Clyde and Mino were already waiting for them so that everyone can make a new beginning together and the story ends here with this happy ending. So, do let us know in the comments how you liked the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you for more such videos.